Or like I said, you'd see the police, like we'd be fucking around somewhere. Police are coming. <laughs> yeah. They'd walk past you. How you going, kids? Good, sir. No, so <laughs> once they're gone, okay, you might go back to being yeah, a yeah, dickhead. Yeah. But these days, there's even the cops coming, they're like, yeah, I'm back, yeah, it's like there's just no respect. Oh, and I feel sorry for the police too because they're having to lock, catch these criminals. And then, like here in Australia now, it's getting like America, they, they're just getting let back out. It's like if they do do something or they have to actually kill someone, then it comes down to why'd you use such deadly force? Don't you know he had issues or she had mental? No, I didn't. You know, there's people all around the world that they've got to go out and work, you know, um, fetch water or whatever oh, it yeah. is. Well, they've got to walk miles and yeah, miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're telling our kids, oh, it's a bit windy, so you can't. Um, exactly. Yeah, so. Stay home. Don't go. So, or even now, it's like anything over, what is it, sometimes 40 degrees. You don't work. And yeah. like, like you said, in these other countries, they're, they're, they're slogging it out in, whether it's an African country or India. It's probably 50 degrees and they're still building buildings and walking places and look how many people they get crammed onto a bus just to, they're on a bus for two hours to go to a city just, yeah. just no air conditioning. It's like... <laughs> now, me, me son was trying that on, I, I was having work, getting him to do some stuff here and he was looking at the temperature and saying, oh, you can't work over whatever temperature. <laughs> and I just said to him, I go, well, just say... Um, we're you're in a had an accident and you need an ambulance mm -hmm. so you're saying the ambulance guy doesn't have to come and pick you up because it's too hot so if it's good enough for the ambulance guy mm -hmm. it's good enough for everyone else you can't oh, yeah. expect someone else to do the yeah. um but it's like that guy i used to when i lived in scottsdale arizona the um guy that ran the prison there they used to hate him but he used to get elected in all the time because yeah he would actually keep the prisoners out in tents yeah rather than in the jail cells and they'd complain oh it's so hot he's just like he's like if it's good enough for the military who are fighting yeah. for your freedom and they have to stay in tents and this is like when they're over in iraq he goes it's good enough for you so shut up and just stay out there so and also too like it would be a good incentive not to go back there exactly that's like well look at now after some of the people that go to jail they got air conditioning tv you get all your meals and stuff so there's really no deterrent is there it's not like oh this is a terrible place sometimes when they go in there because if they're in a group or a gang half their mates are in there yeah, so it's yeah, just like yeah, hey yeah, it's yeah. Just like hanging out yeah we're all locked in here together so yeah it's like there's no deterrent where, like I said, back in the day, you'd always hear of, you don't want to go to jail or you get bread on water and they keep you in a cell. You're like, shit, I don't want to go there. If that's all you get to eat is bread and water. Many yeah. of your parents would always say bread and water, but then you see, fuck, they get like proper meals and cable TV. and Yeah. So, yeah, there's really no deterrent, is there? That actually, like I said, if you've got mates in there, oh, I'm going back in. Oh, that's okay. Michael and Stu are still in there. I can hang out with them. They're still in there for another couple of years. So I've only got six months. I'll go back in yeah. there and chat to them and lift some weights, watch TV. Well, have have, have now, a little sucky fucky on the side. We can. <laughs> especially now with like the housing crisis. Like, uh, oh. <laughs> I can't find a place to. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Um, so I'm, That's like I've always said. If you're an old person and you had no family members left and you had a few people you hated, you could just bump them off and kill them and then they lock you up and hey okay mm. it's cheaper than going into a retirement home <laughs> 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 you get your medical you yeah, get yeah. bed you get fed it's yeah. like they got a library you yeah can use a computer yeah so why not but even like i said it's sad look at that like look in queensland those young kids that stabbed that grandmother just for her car no no respect for you know the sudanese of course but even if they weren't Sudanese, they're like 15, 16 year old, one already in trouble for priors. It's like the young kids today just, who would think at that age that you'd stab someone to death just for their car and take their car and then when you see them on the news dumping the car, they're getting out like they've just been for a Sunday drive. You just murdered someone and the people with you witnessed it and they're all just like, oh, no, no thing. <laughs> you wouldn't even think about that, would you? She wouldn't even think about swearing or yeah anything to her. I remember like old people in the day, you'd give up your seat on a bus for them and stuff like that and be polite. But now, or well, like I said, you'd see the police, like we'd be fucking around somewhere. Police are coming. Yeah. They'd walk past you. How you going, kids? Good, sir. 
no sir. <laughs> you'll be like, you'll be so polite, yes sir, no sir. Once they're gone, okay, you might go back to being yeah, a yeah, dickhead. Yeah. But these days, there's even the cops coming. They're like, yeah, I'm back. Yeah, it's like there's just no respect for. Yeah, no, <laughs> crazy. it's definitely gone. And I feel sorry for the police too because they're having to lock, catch these criminals. And then, like here in Australia now, it's getting like America. They they're just getting let back out. It's like. Hmm. You know, our hands are tied. We can only do so much. And then if they do do something or they have to actually kill someone, then it comes down to why would you use such deadly force? Don't you know he had issues or she had mental? No, I didn't. They're coming at me with a knife. It's like I want to go home to my family. I'm not here. I don't know their medical record. I don't know if they're on medications. It's if they're trying to kill me or somebody else, my duty is to use deadly force. And, if you know. Yeah, no, once again, like the people that complain have never, ever, no. like, they don't know, okay, I know the police have training and they get taught, mm -hmm. taught all the tactics, but even then... In a real-life situation, it is very training hard goes out to, the window. Well, I've got friends that work security at the hospital, and even they will tell me, you get yeah, someone, yeah. you could get the smallest girl, yep. 100 pounds soaking wet, but if she's crazy or got yep. mental problems and on drugs... It takes like sometimes four or five yep. big guys to subdue yep. her. So these people that go, oh, well, you should, you know, take them down. It's like, it doesn't work that way in the real world, yeah, I hate to yeah. tell you. It's like those crazy people are like a slippery eel. Yeah. And trying to get them down, sometimes you got to use force. And and during that getting them down, you're not trying to hurt them. But if you've got a hold of their arm and they're still pulling themselves around, they're actually injuring themselves. You're just trying to control the person but yet when they're flopping around like a crazy person their arm might get dislocated or broken yeah. it's not like you're trying to break their arm it's just that they're just going off yeah and, imagine, and like you said they got no idea these people that say oh well they should be trained better they are trained but yeah like in a real life it'd be like a boxer being a trained professional fighter but then you get into a street fight all that shit goes out the window it comes down to survival and you know there's no wait a minute you got to throw jabs and do this yeah, and do yeah, that. Yeah. No. If you're in a street fight, it's like anything's going on. They might be picking up shit, throwing you. If you go down, there's no like, hold on, 10-second yeah. count, let him get back up. If you go down, generally you're getting a boot to the ribs, the head, if they've got mates there, they're jumping in too. So, yeah, training and real life and then are two different things in a lot of aspects. <laughs> yeah, but, the, you know, the person that's complaining – probably would refuse to lift up a five kilo box because they're worried about oh, yeah. their back mm -hmm. they need a standing desk and all this oh, yeah. um mm -hmm. fancy stuff but yet they mm -hmm. expect a policeman to a police person um to risk getting <clears throat> oh yeah like even like people don't realize like a, a knife in the wrong spot that's it but mm -hmm. even regardless you know you could sever tendons and and be and be seriously um injured on it it doesn't like i said you can go up to a person who's got a knife like you said they get you in the right spot yeah they hit a main artery or in the chest or even if they're holding the knife and you're trying to talk them out of it yeah that crazy person could just and fuck it yeah get no, your jugular it's over so it's like you know it's not like nicey nicey it's like sometimes you got to use force and they're like well why don't they use a taser instead because i've seen people get tasered and not stop I've seen like police training videos of guys on drugs who have been shot three or four times and they're still coming at yeah. the cop. It's yeah. like when they're that drugged and that crazy until, like I said, I saw, I think one of the training videos I saw, they actually shot him six times and he was still coming. It wasn't until he actually hit, they must have hit him in the heart that finally dropped him. But until they hit a vital organ, this guy was still coming yeah, full yeah. on at him. So, yeah, it's not like, you know you know the textbook and then real life practical it's like you know it's like you said you want to go home to your family <laughs> it's yeah. like you can't be like excuse me sir can you put that gun down or don't point that gun at me it's like even too when they say or if they do shoot it oh but it was a fake gun well you don't know that yeah, if know. it's a yeah, dark yeah, night yeah, yeah, and yeah, someone's pointing yeah. a gun at you you haven't got time to go oh, hold on that's a toy from kmart it's like and it's no. not the sort of thing you want to get wrong no like, and the yeah. thing is too and if you're crazy enough or whatever you know a cop's got a gun and a real gun and you're going to point something at him it's like hey you should know better that they're going to probably shoot you back so don't go hey it's fake don't shoot me so no i i, I, I yeah. it's funny because i actually watched the thing i was on 
They actually took one of those people once, the ones who were all anti-police and you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. And they actually took this person to an actual police training facility. Yeah. I'm not sure if you saw it. And they gave him 10 different scenarios of a guy like, yeah, they said, okay, you can have the gun and the taser and the police is going to play the bad guy. So this guy's pretending to steal the car and he, the, the guy that's totally against police He's like, got his hand on the thing. He's like, stop. And this guy keeps coming for him. He keeps coming for him. He's like half standing out from behind the car. He's like, sir, get down. He's being all polite. And this guy just suddenly goes, come on. <coughs> yes, there you're dead. Like, I think it was like nine out of 10 times, the policeman who was playing the bad guy killed this person. And like I said, he got to him every time. He's like, oh, shit, I didn't realize that's that full on, you know, like it's a, split second decision you know it's oh. not like they're not there to be nicey nice every time and then a couple of times the guy who was anti-police did pull the gun and went to shoot him he goes well i thought you were against he goes well he goes i felt threatened and i said well now imagine in real life scenarios where you know this person's not only going to try kill you but if you don't stop him and there's other people around and he could go on a yeah. rampage and you know you get someone even driving a vehicle crazy you're trying to stop them and pull them over if you don't look how many times have you seen people drive through intersections and then end up killing innocent people slamming into cars and stuff so 